Good morning everyone, it's the 27th of December 2014 and as you can see all my tricky books <laughs> are doing just fine. The one I thought was broody wasn't broody, I think she was just sat there because there was no other space on the egg so she was on an egg but um, I've collected both the eggs this morning, decent sized eggs as well. Uh, as you can see they're all running around having loads of fun, hang on, see if we can zoom in. There you go. And you got Sid over there and all the girls. I'm just trying to think if I can name them all. Okay, here we go. Uh, over there in the Chook House is, I go by the Combs, uh, is Selma. Uh, these, the one just going into the Chook House is Louise, both like Sussex. Uh, there's the white one. I have no idea what it is. Big bunny thing on its head, but it's not, it's not quite a, a Polish top knot, anyway. But this one here is Betty. Uh, the one over there in front of the white one is uh, ooh, difficult. That's breakfast. This one running across here in the middle now is Fern. And then you've got Sid the rooster. Uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner. I think. <laughs> and then the bluebell there is let's have a look at your top knot. Uh, I think that's Doris and the other bluebell over there behind the white ones is Marge yeah. and then over there let's see if we can get in close up that's Shadow <laughs> my friend's piggy bless him little sweetie but, uh, not a lot happening here over the last couple of days because it was Christmas but um, yeah I've just done my fence checks all the way around the electric fencing you can see oh, you can't see nope you still can't see <laughs> Damn it. there you go that flashing means it's on so I'm um, no touchy <laughs> otherwise it's ouch really hard but um, over here I've dug I had to dig a couple of swales I've got to redo that one because there's a puddle we had a bit of heavy rain last night but, um, over here the other day whilst I was waiting for the girls to put themselves to bed I started doing a bit of digging there, a bit of digging, and the ground is full of <laughs> big stones. So, oh look, there's <laughs> Shadow attacking his food bowl. Hi, Shadow. If we go and say hello to Shadow, let's go and say hi to Shadow if he feels like coming over. Shadow! Come with us! Come with us! <laughs> nope, he's going to ignore me. He don't have any food. I'm not coming over. Bless him. <laughs> He's a real sweetie. Shadow! I said, bring your bowl over here. I don't have any food, but you can push it over. I know. I haven't got anything for you. <laughs> oh, 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 bless. Come here then. Come on then. Come and say hi. Come on then. No, he's not coming over. Little monkey. Right, but, um,. Yeah, as you can see, the field's been completely cut down. So it's massive. It looks even bigger now. It goes all the way from just up there. All the way around we go. Right about, oh, I started on a compost heap just over there. I've got to put some pallets around it and some fabric, weed fabric over it. But, um, yeah, like I say, not a lot's been done because it's been Christmas. <laughs> I've been a bit busy. <laughs> so do this without touching the fence. Hi, girls. Bless them. It's blue and freezing as well. No, last night I thought one of them had gone broody, but um, no, she's not. Thank goodness, because it's really it's a bit too cold to have little bubbers running around. But um, unlike the little terrorists, feathered terrorists I've got at home. 
Oh my goodness me. 100% hatching. All 10 of them hatched. One little one. I didn't think was going to make it, but he did. He's really bossy and quite a bully, actually. Uh, later on today, I'm picking up uh, a run. Well, it's a rabbit hutch with a run, but it will do for them because at the moment I've got them at home in my bedroom and um, they're very smelly and very noisy <laughs> and I'd like a decent night's sleep. So they're going to go up the summer house. <laughs> So they're not going to be waking me up and I'll be in a better mood in the mornings as well but um, yeah so that's my little chicky wooks and we managed to clear um, my friend's um, friend Blake cleared all the we had a load of fallen logs let me show you well, mind the fence. we had a load of fallen logs uh, fallen logs fallen trees there's another swale there look I do love my swales. They keep the water on the plot, but not where I don't want it. But all this, all this here, I've got to chip and clear. But all that corner was all weeds and God knows what, and all this fence line here was um, was pretty much like it is up there, if you can see. Too easy to zoom in. Yeah, like that. So I cleared it. And... Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, had to make way for the electric fencing. <coughs> oh dear. Yep, all cleared. Um, so I've got to chip this, and this area here is where my storage stroke shed shelter thing for me when I'm down here. So I can um, sit and have a cup of tea if it gets too cold and too rainy because I'm a big wuss. <laughs> but this area here, this well area, was covered in weeds, um, all thorns and brambles, ivy, whatever. I've got to do the the well, clear it of ivy and stuff, make it look pr bit pretty again. Um, but my friend um, um, Kathy and me are going to be planting bulbs in here and uh, wildflowers. So that's going to look really lovely. Um, found a few bits as well. Found a tyre. That'll be handy for putting feed buckets in so they don't get knocked over or water buckets. Um, found a bin. That'd be really handy. Maybe a feed bin or something. And found the lid as well. How cool is that? The result. So, uh, yeah, this is um, this is the beginnings of Cat and Jack's little patch of heaven. And although it doesn't look very much like a little patch of heaven at the moment, it will be. It'd be lovely as the hen's enjoying that. There's a I wanted, that's why I wanted the run here. Uh, it was mainly because I thought Sid would climb on the um, stump and cock a doo doo. But uh, the girls seem to like it. Look, they've got another bluebell there balancing on it. We've got, I think this is, uh, oh gosh, I don't know. Do you know what? Since the chickens' brown ones have come down hit the field, it's very difficult to tell who's who. Oh, that one in the middle there is um, Betty. Betty and Fern, where are you, Fern? Um, they're expats from Fresh Start for Hens. Um, I, I went all soft and I thought, because usually I buy mine from um, Surrey Poultry. They're really helpful, those guys down there. Um, but I went all soft and I thought, oh, you know what, I'll give a home to two expats. And they're doing really well, really well. Can't get over how well they're doing. They've all fluffed up. <laughs> got more feathers than they had. Hang on, I'm just going to try and squeeze. If I say out in a minute, it's because I've touched the fence. <laughs> oh my god, that was close. <laughs> um, yeah, no, this is, yeah, just explaining swales. This is how swales work. You dig like a little ditch, not very deep, um, to divert water away from where you don't want it. But it still stays on the property because you don't want to get rid of water because it's a uh, valuable commodity apparently well no not apparently it is but uh, anyway that's enough of me waffling on this morning I've now got to uh, get home and sort out the chicks at home like I say I've got 10 chicks they're three weeks old tomorrow um, I've also got a silver lace wine dope bantam hen and a frizzled pekin cockerel um, they were just too small to bring down here with these guys, a bit too small. But I'm thinking about bringing down 
um, another run and house that I've got and just sort of putting them maybe in that corner there and then fencing off the corner so at least they can come out during the day but uh, the bigger guys won't be able to get to them because um, Louise, one of the light Sussex, oh she's in the hen house at the moment she's um, unfortunately she's a bit of a, she, well not a bit of a, she's a real meanie um, she's a, definitely a chick killer, she doesn't like chicks and um, she's not too nice to other hens either but she seems to be quite calm at the moment which is nice, <laughs> thank goodness bitch bag, if she gets a bit too much I will take her out and put her somewhere separate for a few days or maybe even a couple of weeks depending on how long it takes her to um, not be quite such a bully but there you go, Cat and Jack's little patch of heaven <sighs>